Thank you guys for clicking here. Welcome back again to the channel. It's your boy, Sammy Media. So guys, if this is your first time, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also give your comment in the comment section below. So let's talk about this. So in Ghana here, I've been telling people that my name is Sunday. <laughs> Many of my Ghanaian brothers, they always, at times, some of them are always confused like, Tell us your name because your name can't be Sunday. And I'll be like, ah, but that is my name, Sunday. Just yesterday, one person also asked me my name and I told him my name is Sunday. He was like, no, I mean your name, your name, like your real name. I say like, I become so, I say, ah, it's, it's Sunday, that is my name. The person were like, ah, well, is Sunday your name? And I was like, yeah. It's a name in Nigeria that is we bear the name Sunday. Not only Sunday, even other weeks we bear this name like Monday, uh, like Monday, Friday, you know, we bear those names, bear them as names. He was like, wow. Funny enough, I asked him, what is your own name? He says his name is Akwasi. <laughs> I laugh, I laugh, I laugh. He, he was like, why am I laughing? And I told him that, uh, do you know that? Me and you will bear the same name. My name is Sunday. Your name is also Sunday. He was like thinking, 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 like how? And I told him that your own, you you bear your own in your local language, your local dialects, tree. And I asked him, what is the meaning of Akwasi? Say is a Sunday born. <laughs> like he explained about the meaning of Akwasi, you know? Aha, uh Akwasiada, -huh, something like that, you get. But they don't usually put the ada. But Sunday born, you know, that is enough of us. I was like telling him that yeah, we bear the name, but in English, like Sunday. And you also bear week names, like the name of the weeks, you also bear it, but in three local directs in Ghana. Like uh, Ghanaians, they bear Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, like all, but all in three. But we will be our own in English. So the reason why we be our own English, I'm going to tell you in this video. Just keep watching. The one thing I want you to understand is that all the things we usually uh, say that usually confuse our Ghanaian people, uh, Ghanaians also said those things. But it's because they said their own in three. That is why it's kind of confusing to get. Just like uh, we Nigerians, we usually say, well done, or well done, well done. Where well done, like when you see somebody that is working, or even that person is not working, and maybe you see the person sitting down, maybe you assume into your mind, like the person might be working, maybe he's resting. You can just say, Hey, where well done, no, and you pass. Good Nigerians will usually say so, but our Ghanaian brothers usually confuse, like, ah, Why is Nigerians always say, Where well done, where well done? Many of them have asked me, like, Why do we normally say, Where well done, where well done, where well done? And I was like, also telling the person, but you also say you you, use, you also use the word well done too, but maybe you do, you may not know. He asked, say how we don't use the word well done, well done, and I and I told him that what is the meaning of ayeko? What is the meaning of ayeko? My viewers in in Ghana, if you understand tree, what is the meaning of ayeko? Is it not well done? <laughs> It's the same thing, well done, but you say your own in three, we say our own in English. Remember I told you that I will tell you the reason why we usually say our own in English, so keep watching. There are a lot of things we usually say that whenever we say it in Ghana here, whenever a Ghana person hear, uh, hearing us saying it, they will be like confused, why are we saying those things? But, they, but the Ghanaians also said the same things, you know, like well done and our names, Sunday, Monday, all those things, but in tree language so the time i explained to the person the reason uh, of the word done and uh, and made him to know and understand that they also say word done but in tree so he, he asked me why are we nigerians also not saying our own in our local language why do we use english to say our own like that word done is english would i tell him that we don't have local dialect that we use in replacing of that word done just like Ghanaians uses their own language, Ayiko, they don't use English. Let me tell you how I explained the whole thing to him. So the reason why we use English in our own, like that well done, we don't use our local dialect to say it, well done, well done, well done. Let me start with in Ghana. 
in Ghana, you see three languages, three, a can language. Hmm? It's more popular in Ghana than the whole of like almost if Ghana is 100%, like 100% in populations, like, like let me say 90 or if not 99% of the Ghanaians, they speak three. They all know how to speak three, they, they understand. If you go to Tamale now and speak to you, you see that a lot of people in Tamale, they understand and they speak. If you go to a lot of places in Ghana, like majority of Ghanaians, they speak Tui. So Tui is like a general language, general language in Ghana here. Everybody speaks Tui. It's not like that in Nigeria. That is just the truth. We, uh, the one that unites us, the language that unites Nigerians as a whole is Pidgin. So Pidgin English, everywhere you speak Pidgin English in Nigeria, everybody will understand. But not everywhere that you speak Hausa, like people will understand, no. It's not everywhere that you speak Igbo, Igbo language that people, other people will understand. You get, it's not, uh, the, our local language is not like the way we have it in Ghana here, like the tree, how tree is a quote all over the Ghana. We don't have Patukra local language in Nigeria that everybody, all the whole Nigerians will understand it. Only Pidgin English. And that Pidgin English is also English. It's not, it's not you can't call it a local language. Uh, it's, it's Pidgin. Pidgin, uh, even Ghanaians also speak Pidgin too. Many African countries, they speak Pidgin. So you can't say that Pidgin is a Nigerian language. We just borrow it and choose to be using it. So that is why uh, in some words, we use English to you know, so that everybody will understand it like that, we're done, we're done. Uh -huh. So everybody can understand it. But we have that word done too in our various local languages. Like me, my language, the word done, the meaning of word done is Dalu, Dalu, see, Dalu, word done, oh, Dalu, you see, that is the meaning. But that Dalu is not popular in the whole language, in, in the whole of Nigeria. Like, Everybody in Nigeria don't know what is Dalu. See, it doesn't circulate. It's, it's only people that can understand Dalu is is either you, you are from Igbo or you learn Igbo or you or you are closer to the Igbo land. That is how, that is when you understand the meaning of Dalu. Our Hausa have their own meaning of a, uh, of um, whether uh, Yoruba has their own. All the languages in Nigeria, they all have their own language. How they pronounce um, "weda" in their languages, but we don't have one particular language that everybody understands it. The whole Nigeria, we don't have it. It's only in Ghana. Uh, maybe other countries also have. We have maybe I've, because I've not traveled to other African countries, but in Ghana here, I've seen that tree is more popular, it's secreted everywhere, everybody in Ghana, they understand and speak tree. You get that is why they all, always use their languages very well. Like Aiko, everybody understands the meaning of Aiko in Ghana. Like Akwaba, if you speak it Akwaba in everywhere in Nigeria, it, everywhere in Ghana, they understand Akwaba. You get it. So let's come to the Sunday and Monday, Tuesday name. <laughs> We, we in Nigeria, we bear those names, like not all the week's name that we bear, like the only ones we bear is Sunday, we bear Sunday, we bear Monday, we bear Friday only. Monday, Sunday and Friday, we bear them only. We don't bear like, you can see somebody in Nigeria bearing name like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The only name you'll be hearing is people bear Nigeria is Sunday, Monday, and Friday. But in Ghana, they be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Sunday. But all in their languages, in their language tree. So if I'm not right, let's know in the comment section. Drop in the comment what you know, please. <laughs> but that is what I've, you know, learned so far. So uh, the reason why we be here only those three, like, Sunday, Monday, and Friday is because of the uh, it, 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 all those name, those three names: Monday, Friday, Saturday. Monday, Monday, Sunday, uh, Friday. 
originated from the from Catholic Catholic Church. You get, but not only Catholic members are now bearing it, or every other churches are now bearing Sunday, Monday, Friday. You get, but originally it was those Catholic Church that you know brought that idea of bearing those names. The reason being it is because of the Easter. You know, we have Easter Monday, we have Easter Sunday, and Good Friday. Are you seeing the origin of <laughs> the reason why we bear those names? Easter Monday, Easter Sunday, and Good Friday. Because those names are attached with Easter. It's attached with Easter. So they consider it to be holy. Those days, those weeks, they consider it to be holy name. You get so if you are born on Sunday, that means you are fortunate enough to be born on Sunday. Sunday born, your name will automatically become Sunday. So if you are born on Monday, you are fortunate enough also. You are holy boy, you are a holy person or a holy girl. So your name will automatically become Monday. If you are born on Friday, same holy because Good Friday. Your name become Friday. But funny enough, it's only men that bear such names. Like women have their own they bear. Like <laughs> this is this is explanation that I go spread entire. Like like Sunday now. It's only men that can bear Sunday. Women cannot bear it as Sunday. Women bear their own as Oka Maka. That one goes in local dialect. You see now. <laughs> Women bear their own in local way, local dialect, like no longer English, like Okamaka. That is, that is also the meaning of Sunday too, because she's a, she's a Sunday born, but she cannot bear it the way men bear their own, like Sunday. Their own goes in a local language, like Okamaka, which mean, also means Sunday is good, like something like that. <laughs> also, women cannot be a Monday. Women doesn't be a Monday, even if you are born on Monday, they can give you the name Monday. Also, women cannot be a Friday, even if you are born on Friday, they cannot give you the name Friday. It's only men that be a Sunday, Monday, Friday. But in Ghana here, women be Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, Abuna. Abuna is what is the meaning of Abuna? Is it Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? Something like that, you get. So, women and men be it, but in there, Local language tree. Mm. I don't know whether this explanation is very clear. So anytime you see a Nigerian person saying that his name is Sunday or Monday or Friday, take it as his name. But the, another question is: Is that the only name we bear as name? No, is the answer. So after bearing that name, like maybe Sunday born, yeah, Sunday born, you have automatically become a Sunday. Then you also have local name. They must give you local name also on top of it because we believe that that name sunday is the language is for the white people you know we must give you our uh, like local name <laughs> you know so my name now being sunday because i was born on sunday eh? i also have local name which is she obim like god knows my heart and what it means god like God knows my heart. Shuku ma ubim, or call it she ma ubim, anyone. Some people can just call it she ma, you know, cut it off like that, she ma. But the, the full, full uh, pronunciation of it is shuku ma ubim, or she ma ubim. Uh, well, if you don't want to go through that stress of mentioning the name full, you can just say she ma, she ma. <laughs> so, but people don't know me as she ma. Or Shukuma, like that, my local name is not official, it's not popular, it's not well known. It's only people that can know me with that name, people that that, are, that knows me very closely, that will know that my name is Shima. You get <laughs> so the, the everybody knows me as Sunday, as my name, Sunday, 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 or Sunny, 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 everywhere. You get uh -huh. so some people can choose the name they will want to make official the name they will want to make public for people to know them publicly. Some people can choose 
for people to know them with uh, the day they were born, like Monday. People start calling them Monday. Some people will be born on Monday or Sunday. People will not know them as people will not know them as that name, Sunday or Monday or Friday. They will know them with their local name. They will not want that uh, Sunday or Monday to be more public. He has his name. You get so it depends on your choice, or it depends on the one your mother started calling you from childhood, and people started calling you the name. You become more public than the other one. The reason why I explain all these things is that for people, for my online people to understand this also, because a lot of you, I know that a lot of you are also wondering why it is so, right? <laughs> why would be a such name like Monday, Friday, and um, Sunday as a name? So this is the reason why it gets, because it's attached with Easter. Easter Monday, Easter uh, Sunday, and Good Friday. So that's why we only choose that uh, three names. And it's rejected from uh, uh, Catholic church people, you get. But nowadays now, all the churches are bearing the name, you get. Uh, so, but we don't be here Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. We don't be here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, no. But in Ghana, they be here from Monday to Sunday, you get. But in their local language tree. So, I don't know if I'm right. Correct me in the comment section. Let's talk about this, guys. What do you have to say about all these things I have just explained? Or do you think I explained tire? <laughs> uh, someone will say, you explained tire. <laughs> that, that word, yeah, that word. I don't, know who, I don't know who even brought that. I kind of said, well, you explained tire. <laughs> I never tire. I never tire. If you say I to explain more, I can even explain. So I never, I never explain tire. <laughs> so guys, uh, you can let us know in the comment section what you think. If you have not subscribed to the channel, guys, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified in time of new videos. Also, see you in the next video. Bye for now. See you soon.